You have the design that you think that you want, you're gonna to need to, first of all, name it. And I've gone ahead and I've named mine Mr. P Name Tag. Hugely important that you give it the proper name so that we know who it belongs to. And you would do well to put your class, just to make sure, Mr. P Name Tag 6WC or whatever class you might be in. After you've done that, you're gonna to go to Export. On export, you want to ensure that you have everything in design. It's so important because if you have selected shapes, this means you might only export the star or the heart or the name or sorry the words or the background shape or the whole. You want to ensure that you have everything in your design that's going to be exported, and we're going to export it as an STL. When it exports as an STL, you're going to want to check it by clicking on it and hitting the space bar. And this will allow you to sort of pan around it and make sure there's nothing floating in the air. I say that because some people think, oh, I have this beautiful design, there's a heart on it, there's a star on it. But if we pan around and look carefully, you'll notice that the heart here is floating in the air. It will not print if it's like that. It's like taking a glue gun and trying to lay down an exact precise line on some cardboard while holding it high up in the air. The extruder is not going to be able to print that. 